Hey everybody, today I'm on the Patreon server and I want to do a showcase of the custom gravel farm. So a while ago I made a Patreon announcement video for the server and we added some non-vanilla features to the server just uh, in order to make some items renewable. And today we, I want to show you a custom gravel farm. So we used a mechanic that silverfish that hop into blocks and exit a block afterward would actually convert the stone into gravel. In normal vanilla, the um, yeah the block would just disappear completely and you wouldn't get anything. But we thought it would be maybe a nice idea uh, to add this mechanic, and that actually makes it possible to make a gravel farm. So we got Jamin here and Spike, Hi. and they're Hello. gonna they're gonna show us um, the. Gravel farm. Okay, so I was starting at the Nether up here at the Patreon server. Um, this is yeah, basically the hub for all the connections, different farms. The server has been running for almost half a year now, and yeah, they made quite some progress. Okay, let's say we head over to the gravel farm. So we got a piston bolt. Yeah, that's right. All right. Since I'm not really actively playing on the server, it's fine if I use creative and spectator mode. I don't interfere usually at all. So this is 100% survival. Alright. So let's follow Jamin. I think there's a right turn coming up. Oh yeah. So it's just jumping out. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's, a, that, that's a way to do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, where'd the other glass go? Oh well. Okay. okay. Okay, so here is the uh, gravel farm. So it's a bit outside uh, since we needed a stronghold. And what I need a stronghold for? Obviously, a silverfish spawner. Alright, um, should I put you. In creative mode as well, Jamin, it's to explain the farm. Uh, it probably makes sense. Sure. Okay. Okay, also spike out so we can fly around. It's probably a lot easier to explain it. <laughs> Alright, Jamin, yeah. um, wanna go ahead? Alright, to uh, start, we have this lever here which uh, pushes down some red, uh, some slime blocks with red slime blocks attached, which turns off the lights, which Starts the silverfish spawning. Okay. And then uh, the silverfish. Uh, actually, we can. Should we start it now? I don't know. Uh, Should we start it immediately? I mean. Yeah, why not? Uh, yeah. Or should no. we maybe explain the rough idea? Yeah, rough idea. Okay. Um. So. so yeah, okay, Jamie, go ahead. <laughs> uh, lights turn off, uh, silverfish spawn, and they drop down into here. And we have this simple stone generator to push new stone blocks to uh, uh, for the silverfish to go into. And then these blocks right here are uh, silverfish blocks. And they uh, snake their way all the way up through the uh, machine to be later pushed into cells where the gravel is produced. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. You already saw the mechanic in the first minute of the video. Um, the silverfish exit the blocks if nearby silverfish are damaged. So that's why here in the back we got snowmen shooting at um, named silverfish that don't despawn. Yep. Alright, um, yeah, and they basically have a certain radius, so that's why we had to build that a few times. And yeah, the blocks are basically pushed, what well, once it's completely filled up, pushed over here and then they're in that radius where they also would exit the block and then afterwards you push in cobblestone which is generated in the back and the silverfish would yeah, break the block hop into the next cobblestone block etc and this way we would create the gravel okay so yeah here we create the silverfish blocks the silverfish just hop into it and then we just push it along this conveyor which goes all the way around then up to the next layer, then all the way around again, and so on until up to the very top. All right, let's say we turn on the farm. So okay. this makes the lamps go off. 
uh, also it's important yeah, that here we just place the bot now that you extend exactly at this spot because the normal silverfish also despawn. If you would yep. also if you would try to rename silverfish, then I think they lose their their yeah, persistence once they go into a block and then a normal silverfish comes out, right? So that's why we That's correct. Yeah, that's why I can't do that. Yeah, down here at the bottom we can see mm -hmm. the silverfish going into the new stone block. Is it actually a bug maybe that the silverfish lose their persistence? Or should we make a bug report or I don't know. Well, then the block would have an MPT data, and then it can't be pushed anymore. Uh, I guess mm. yes, there's no easy way around. Yeah. So, all the way up here at the mm. top. Okay, at the top, yeah. Uh, when the final blocks make their way all the way up around, they come up to this observer, which activates this pulse lengthener, and then it uh, drops the signal all the way down here to tell the... Uh, spawner to stop producing silverfish and also the stone generator stops when it reaches that point mm -hmm. at which point it uh sends a signal to push all of these uh monster eggs into their cells where the silverfish start producing gravel okay yeah so all we all already ran this a little bit for about an hour um mm -hmm. takes about an hour until it's completely filled up and you have yep. to do that every time since, yeah, afterwards Silverfish does despawn and then you have to fill up the cells again. Yeah. Okay, now just waiting for the top to be filled up. Let's see how long it might take. Uh, maybe a uh, minute more. Right here. Yeah, maybe a minute more. Let's make a quick cut here. Oh, okay, there it goes. There it goes. Alright, so it's gonna turn off the spawner now and a little timer starts i think this is actually a three or four minute timer yeah it's completely filled up Hopper. okay so we got a little time maybe to also explain what we got here at the top so this is basically um overflow protection so yeah there's still stone getting pushed we're basically just now waiting until all the silver the, all the leftover silverfish hop into blocks and they're still yeah, silverfish being pushed through the system. That's why the clock is also so long, just to make sure that everything is turned off. Uh, so we, if we don't keep pushing, uh, we try to push over the stone. All right, here at the top, we also got another snowman shooting at a silverfish. And yeah, you can see that those uh, silverfish exit the block. Uh, so yeah, the blocks are just processed somehow. Alright, just a few seconds left, and now the farm starts producing. So the silverfish get pushed over. And they should now start converting stone, right? Yep. Okay. That's a bit hard to see. We can spectate them out real quick. ones down at the bottom don't seem to okay. be coming out of there okay now now we can see it here we got yeah, the, the monster egg blocks and uh, it's random how long it takes until the silver is really enters the block but basically now they would just keep entering the cobblestone block and then since the snowman in the bags uh yeah damages his bodies they would exit again okay then yeah the gravel items are collected um by hoppers also some silverfish drop down so they don't get crushed by the incoming cobble. They always fall down in the supper. <coughs> yeah, items are collected, transported over. It's probably a dropper that shoots them out and then funneled by yeah, water stream. Yeah, there's I think there's mm -hmm. droppers in each of the corners. Yeah. And then this um, collector down here packs them in the shulker boxes. Okay. Yeah, so we've got quite some gravel incoming. Um, also, he's a silverfish. Probably a slight issue with it. Yeah, probably. Or it's just random, maybe. Okay. I think it's left over from one of the ones on the outside here. Okay. Yeah, so there's quite some gravel incoming. Uh, what are the rates of this one? Uh, between 10 and 11,000 gravel per hour, if I recall correctly. Alright. 
So it's yeah, nothing compared to to a duper, but it's definitely a more legit <laughs> way of doing it. I, I would say. All right. Um, I think you also got already quite some gravel stored up in here. Um, yep. Two point oh, yeah. five million. Two point five million. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's definitely a lot of gravel you can make with this farm. Probably made some concrete yep. already out of it, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. That combined with the uh, sand farm on the server mm -hmm. uh, lets us craft all the gr uh, concrete we need. Yeah, so yeah, we also got a sand farm on the server that is it's not duping based. We can also maybe show that in another video at some point. Alright, yeah, so this would now run automatically. It's just important that either a bot or the player just stands in the middle so the silverfish can't despawn. And it's also a bit laggy for the client. 10, 11 FPS. <laughs> yeah. But for the server, it's actually not that bad. So as you can see here, TPS 20, MSPT 34. So even with this farm running, yeah, you can still do something else on the server. All right, so it's definitely, I think, a really interesting mechanic, this uh, gravel mechanic with the silverfish. Unfortunately, it's not in vanilla, but I think it has a lot of potential. So it's definitely a lot of fun to make a farm out of it. Also, credit where credit is due. Uh, the designer of this farm is Bosch. Uh, he yeah, is currently busy, so I couldn't be here today. But yeah, thanks a lot, Bosch, for this great farm design. All right, also uh, thanks a lot to Jamin and Spike for being here and explaining the farm. Uh -huh. And yeah, as I said, we might make more videos from the Patreon server because also we've got more custom farms here. It's just interesting to see how we can use those mechanics. All right, thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.